What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Tech702. I'm Mike. Today we're going to be covering the DJI Osmo Mobile 3. So I'm here at the park trying to get as much background noise as possible. No, I'm just kidding, but I figured you guys want to see it in action. So here we go. So here we have the DJI Osmo Mobile 3. Super compact. Uh, it fits in the case really well and you can buy the combination pack which comes with the case as well as the three pong mount that you can do and set it on a counter, something nearby, and really take advantage of either the auto track feature or the fact that it will do time lapse or hyper lapse. So all you have to do is you can extend it like this. It comes out, when we fire it up, it'll self-center and you balance the phone, which I'll show you how easy that is in a minute. I shoot with a Galaxy Note 10 Plus right now. The Osmo has fit every phone I've tried. I've tried an 11 Pro Max. I've tried the Pixel 3 XL. I tried a old iPhone XS. Pretty much everything you throw at it. I think the Note 10 Plus is one of the larger ones. Probably not a Galaxy Fold wouldn't work, but everything else is doing its job. So it comes compact like this, super easy to unfold. Okay. And then the first thing that we need to do is balance it. And so you balance it just by setting this in here and you see to make sure that it's not, it's actually pretty good on the first try there. And then, so I'm gonna fire this thing up. So it's balanced pretty well. Once you balance it, you just turn the power on button and it will self-center, just like that, made my own sound effect. So it comes in standard mode like this. You can double click it and it goes right to you balanced right there. So it comes with a cool app, the DJI Mimo app. So here we are when you open it up. And of course it's got hyperlapse mode, which is where it stitches photos together, time lapse where it speeds it up, regular video, photos, pano, and then a story mode, which is where it'll do like automatic pans that you can set up. I'll show a little demonstration of that here. And then, so what we really want though is video mode. Now, if you're using the application itself, you can control the recording right here. Just got a record button and you can do your pitch wherever you want to go with it like that. It's pretty cool. Now with Android, when I first bought this thing a couple months ago, you couldn't shoot 4K. So now they've added 4K support. So as I mentioned, it connects easily. Any tripod or screw mount, you can see here, we just screw it directly in there and it sets up nicely. It seems solid. I've used it in a brisk wind. Doesn't seem floppy or anything like that. And here, I'll just demonstrate the auto tracking mechanism. And so when you set it up on the tripod and you have like a lapel mic, you can vlog, you can do your videos and it will track. Another cool feature, so it's this trigger. Trigger does sport mode, but also if you double click it, it pops you back to front and center on there. And so if you hold the trigger, you see how I'm rotating my hand up and down. No matter what I do, that will hold steady. Same thing with vlogging. If I'm going to run around or do whatever, like Super Saf likes to always run with his phone, except I'm testing the Osmos doing this, not my note, and I'm being up and down a lot right now. Okay, so, but, what if I don't hold steady or I want you to keep me in focus and do a live vlog? So then I just focus my ugly face. So right now it's logged on to me. So no matter where I move, it's going to track me. So all in all, the DJI Osmo 3 is probably the best thing going for under 150 bucks. I think I spent about 120 and another 20 to get the combo pack. I highly recommend you get the combo. It comes with the trick little case as well as the little prop up so that you can do auto tracks and stuff like that, set it on a counter without going full tripod. Other than audio, this is probably the best investment you can make. Uh, you can use it also, like I said, in your personal life as well as your YouTube videos. And it just adds that cinematic flair to all of your videos. Any questions, leave them down in the comments below. If not, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.